The office apps have been part of our daily lives practically since the first time we use a computer. You certainly started with the traditional Word, Excel, and PowerPoint or went with Google Spreadsheets, Documents and Slides. But did you know that Apple also has a free and powerful Office app? I've already done it here a review of Apple's text editor, Pages. I'll leave the link in the description. But in today's video I'll introduce you to Numbers, Apple's free spreadsheet application. If you have an iPhone, iPad or Mac you can download Apple's productivity suite for free, it consists of Pages which is the text editor, Numbers which are the spreadsheets and Keynote, which is the presentation application. But you can rest assured, Numbers is fully compatible with Excel and Google Spreadsheets, so if you need to send a spreadsheet to Microsoft user you can send it in Excel format or if someone sends you a file in Excel format Numbers will open quietly. Of course, if you use very advanced spreadsheets with macros and advanced formulas it may be that something is a problem, but I can guarantee that for 99% of the spreadsheets you will have no problem. I have been using Numbers for more than 10 years and I have never had any problems, and I can say that I am a little more advanced user in spreadsheets. Taking this myth of the incompatibility, let's get to know Numbers. To begin with, as in Excel and Google Spreadsheets, Numbers has numerous free templates, that is, spreadsheets ready for you to enter your data and use. All with beautiful design. But speaking of design, for me, this is the strength of Numbers. It is very elegant, modern and you notice it as soon as it opens, because instead of the dozens of icons at the top of the application, polluting everything as it happens in Excel, Numbers is clean, but make no mistake, it has everything your competitors have, it is only hidden, but at the same time easily accessible. Another thing you will notice is that it follows a slightly different concept from Excel and Google Spreadsheets, instead of presenting a table with rows and columns that seem endless, it presents right away a table with very few rows and columns, but that does not mean that you cannot include rows and columns just click on this button and this one more. You must be wondering, why did Apple do that? Well, the answer is very smart. Unlike its competitors, Numbers can have several spreadsheets within each spreadsheet, I know I was not very clear, but think with me, when you work in Excel, you can include several tables in the same spreadsheet, but they all need to respect the same column and lines. If you put one table under the other you will have problems sizing the columns for example, because they will need to be the same, but in numbers you can include totally independent tables within the same spreadsheet. See this example, note that we have several independent tables and chart blocks even though you are in the same spreadsheet, and more than that, the concept is that you have a whiteboard, which can include not only spreadsheets and graphs, but also flowcharts organization charts, as in Apple's Freeform, you have a flexibility that you would never have in Excel. I always say, that Numbers is the next generation of spreadsheets, but only that Apple lacks to show this to users. The vast majority of people don't even know that Numbers exists. But if you want to use Numbers as you use Excel or Google Spreadsheets, no problem, I'll show you that everything is at your disposal. As I said you can include rows and columns freely as well as resize everything easily, the function icons are all in this top menu, if you click on this brush button in this first tab you will have the table settings, such as the number of rows and columns, you can insert headers and footers, set the outline of the table, as well as choose the type and size of the font. In the cell tab you will have the fine adjustment, how to put the text in bold, underline text, choose another font, define the color of the text, such as the color of the cells and, configure the thickness of the grids, as I said in Excel, everything is here. In the Format tab, you can choose the type of cell, whether it will be in the automatic format, number, currency, percentage, that is, all types of cell formats, last in the Organize tab, you can even define the alignment of the spreadsheet and even configure layers to be exposed. Note that in this brush button we are only talking about the formatting and design part of the table, there is still much more. In this button on the side, you can filter and sort your data with multiple options. Finally, by clicking on the three dots, you have access to the search button, to find any data in the spreadsheet, the settings, and the button to customize the top menu of numbers, so you can include here icons of functions that you use the most at the top of the application as in Excel, with the difference that here you can put what you use the most and not dozens of icons polluting your screen. I know that for the vast majority Excel is the default, I will not take the merits of Excel or Google Spreadsheets, they are excellent, and for some users, they are perfect, but I honestly think their design with that bunch of icons is outdated, 
this pattern was set in the 70s because we continue to use it that way. But if it's good for you, okay. But if you want something different, you'll like numbers. In these four buttons up here, we have the shortcut to include images, videos, audios, equations, and making drawings. In this other icon you can include shapes like in freeform, because as numbers, first of all it is a blank board, you can make flowcharts, diagrams, organization charts and much more, on the button next to it you can create graphs, linking to your data sheet. And finally you can click on this button, create other tables within the same spreadsheet page, as I explained earlier. Now let's move on to the inclusion of data. Unlike Excel that appears in a blank line above near the menu what you include in the cell, in numbers you must click this keyboard button to open the cell edition. And here, it opens what I love about numbers, because on the same screen you have numerous options, you can simply type text in this cell, or you can click here and include dates, all with a very smart menu. Or you can click here and use the traditional format of inclusion of formulas, and at the top of the keyboard you already have the shortcuts to facilitate the editing of the formula. And if you need functions, just click here, you will have access to all the functions, all basically identical to Excel. That's why I say, it gives full compatibility. And if you have doubts, there are examples and explanations about each function. Do you need quick actions in a cell? Tap the screen or use the mouse, and get access to the cell's quick actions menu. Do you need this in a line? It is worth the same concept, as well as in the entire column. Do you need pivot tables? Click this button and you have quick access to create. Everything is very fast and intuitive. Finally, by clicking on the drop-down menu, you can rename the spreadsheet, move to a folder, password protect, hide collaborative comments, print. And by clicking on export, you can export the spreadsheet in PDF format, in Excel format, in CSV, TSV format and even create a numbers template spreadsheet. Obviously numbers has many more functions, this video is not a course, it is an overview. The idea is to show you that numbers can be a great application option for your productivity. Test. It doesn't cost anything. Import an Excel spreadsheet, play in the application. See how everything works, I'm sure you'll see how useful it is. I invite you to watch the video of Pages, the Apple text editor I made here on the channel, I'm sure it will surprise you how complete Pages is. I also invite you to subscribe to the channel, weekly, I present videos to help in your productivity. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.